What is going on, you two? Modsville USA here. I'm back with a pretty crazy, it's a pretty crazy video, man. It's pretty crazy updates in the uh, PS3 modding scene. So since it's about 2013, I've been downgrading PS3s for people with a E3 flasher. Is only ever able to work on NOR consoles. And quite a, quite a few people came around. Quite a few people had me do this because it was it was an ordeal. Like you really had to set some time and some money aside to one get the hardware flasher and two, you know, figure out what the hell you were doing. Uh, you know, most people didn't bother, so they'd come to me. Now there's quite a bit of advances. All you need is a flash drive. That's it, and a compatible PS3. This isn't compatible with every PS3. Um, it's the same PS3s as before. It's just a lot easier. So don't expect for Super Slims to really ever be able to get on custom firmware. It's probably not going to happen, but you never know. Maybe in like another five years, someone's going to figure it out. If anyone's still trying for whatever reason. Then. But um, all right, let's get into it first. Let's check to see which version you have and if yours is compatible with this or not. So here I got a list on the ready of all PS3 model numbers. So let's start with the ones that are not compatible. All these 4,000 models here at the bottom, these are all the super slims. No good can't do shit with those um, so go sell that thing to GameStop and get a different one now these are the slims right here we got 2,000 2,100 2,500 and 3,000 and before I get any deeper if you want to check your model number it's on the back of your console like slims you can easily find it on the bottom like flip it over with the fats, uh, they're on the bottom and also on the back on the, the barcode. So you're looking for the CECH number. The, whatever starts with CECH, that's your model number. So anyway, the 3000s of the standard slims, not the super slims, you also can't mod those. Um, they're too new. Just for a point of reference, anything that hit the shelves with firmware 3.55 or later, or excuse me, anything with firmware new, newer than 3.55 is unmoddable. If it hit the shelves with a firmware newer than that, you can't downgrade past um, where your console hit the shelves on, and uh, and yeah, it needs to it's technically needs to be on. 3.55 to do this so anyway back on track these are the slims anything besides the 3000 you can mod but it's 2500s I've never seen it but legend has it some of these are too new so there's a file with all the files down below called minimum version checker if you have a slim with the model number with the 2500 you're gonna want to run that to make sure that you can uh, you can downgrade if it says 3.55 3.56 you're good anything lower than that you're good anything lower than 3.56 and you're good all right these are all good these are all nors and any fat, you can do this too. However, with the fats, you're going to need to figure out if yours is a NAND or a NOR console. So all the earlier ones, the launch consoles, launch through G. So yeah, if you have a C, C, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, then you have a NAND. If you have the C E C H H through Q, anything after that, then you have a NOR. It was used NORs from here on out, so anything after that is all NOR consoles. 
very important. You make a note which one yours is. Because you're going to need to choose if you choose the wrong one. You'll most likely brick. I've never tried it, but I wouldn't recommend trying it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Now let's get into the next section. It's specifically for people with this slim model here. I'm going to run that minimum version checker to make sure yours is compatible. And you can go ahead and run it on any of these as well, but I can tell you right now they're not going to be compatible. All right, so take a second, go down to the description and download the zip file that's got all of these. Get the zip file and extract it wherever you like, desktop, whatever. I got it here, PS3 video files because we're making a goddamn video right now. We got a couple things in here. What you're gonna be looking for right now, this is specifically for if you have the 2500 model PS3. It's minimum version check. This is the ps3.updat.pup. You're gonna copy that. Then go into your flash drive. We're gonna wipe this out. I'm assuming you're starting from scratch. New folder. PS3. Whoops. Inside that, make another new folder. Update. And inside that folder, paste the minimum version check file. All right, we're good on the computer for now. We're going to take that out. Pop it in the PS3. All right, now that you got minimum version checker on your flash drive plugged into your PS3, we're going to go system update via storage. As you see, there it is, version check. Hit OK. We're going to error out. Get an error update 3.50. So barely make the mark. So what you're looking for is 3.56 and below. Anything higher than that, like a 3.60, um, you're shit out of luck on this specific console. Make a run to GameStop and uh, swap it out. All right, now you're going to need to make sure you're on version 4.82 as your firmware. So I'm going to go right now. to system settings system information 4.80 so I'm a little out of date all right so we're gonna go back on the computer all right now back in the files that you downloaded you'll see 4.82 official firmware now this is the latest at the time of making this video so could at this point in time you could just update normally um, but if they do patch this in the future you're gonna want to use this file the 4.82 official firmware and if you have updated already and you're above this and this is patched um, then you're kind of out of luck if they ever patch it who knows I'm I can't tell the future I'd be lying if I said I could so we're gonna take that file and replace this one. Alright, so if you are on 4.82, just skip ahead. But if you're on a lower one, take your flash drive, plug it back in. The 4.82 official firmware file. And go update via your storage media. Okay. You need to be on 4.82 or you will brick. Nothing lower, nothing higher at this point. Um, it's got to be on 4.82. All right, now that you are on 4.82 on your PS3, for sure, we're going to go back to the PC one more time. 
go to the files you've downloaded and you're gonna go to rebug custom firmware you know, copy this and we're gonna get rid of that make it clean copy this ps3 update paste it here this is rebug custom firmware and you're gonna want to use the one included here it's got to be this version of rebug All right, now you're also going to want to open up Nornand Writer on this hex folder. Copy this flash.hex to the root of your SD card. Boom. Good there. And then also go into uh, PKG files. So in here I've got Multiman, RetroArc, CC API. These are all uh, multi man CC API is going to come in very handy. Multi man is pretty much it's your file manager, game loader, um, kind of the bread and butter of a modded PS3. RetroArch is an emulator that's everything basically. The Super Nintendo, NES, all that. Just every emulator built into one this one's for dex so we're about we're going to convert to dex asap the cc api you're going to use that to uh, change your console id if you ever need to might as well get it on there i'm copying these over now all right once you have those files transferred you don't want to go back on your ps3 and plug your flash drive into the far right USB port, the port closest to your Blu-ray drive. That is important. All right, now we're gonna go to internet browser. All right, once it loads up, hit triangle, go to home, or no, hit triangle, go to tools. And first we're going to go to home page, use blank, hit OK. And we're going to hit triangle again. We're going to delete cookies, triangle again, tools, delete search history, delete cache. Delete everything we can. Delete authentication information. All right. We're gonna close the browser. I'm gonna open it back up. And then we're gonna push start. And type in this address. HTTP. Red the trainer dot com slash P S three. I want to hit start. Here we are. Now we're gonna go to the uh, nor slash nand writer. Hit OK. And I am a nor is what I'm on. Um, you should have made a note of what you are from earlier in the video. Uh, make sure you choose the right one. If you don't know, go back, double check. Um, go to the Wikipedia page, check all the model numbers. Um, yeah, just make sure you've got it straight before proceeding. I'm going NOR. Hit OK. Now, I'm going to go triangle. 
bookmarks. Add this to bookmarks. All right. Now we're going to give it a go. And just for clarity, the reason we um, cleared all that shit is sometimes if you don't, um, the previous console I modded, it like just wouldn't work and doing that helps. So to save some headaches, we're doing that. If you have trouble doing this, you're going to quit out um, a browser, load it back up, go to your bookmarks and come back. We're doing this and it should, it will eventually say success and shut our console down. If it fails an obnoxious amount of times, you're going to go in and delete cookies, delete all that shit again, close your browser and come back. It may sound like it's a waste of time, but for some reason it does help make this work up quite a bit more consistently. All right. It failed 10 times. So instead of trying again, I'm just going to try, I'm just going to do that again. Delete cookies. Delete search history. Delete cache. Going back. Here we are. Try it again. Success. What I tell you. What I tell you. So give it a second and it is going to shut down. All right. So after your console beeps three times and shuts itself down, turn it back on. You're going to get these errors. Uh, press circle. Do not let it do what it wants to do. It's a big old waste of time. All right, now we're going to go back in. System update. Update via storage. And make sure it says 4.81.2 rebug rex. That is what we want on there. You don't want to install official firmware again. Just make sure you transfer the rebug over and hit OK. Would you look at that? So you can see we are now on Rebug Custom Firmware. All right, boys and girls, I figured this would be a good spot to end this video. Um, now your PS3 is on Custom Firmware, and if you know what you're doing, you know where to go from here. Um, I'm going to do various parts. In the next part, we're going to be converting it to DEX, and I want to run through... <laughs> The basics with re uh, Webman, uh, Rebug Toolbox, Multiman, and uh, and yeah, stay tuned for the next one. And I may go even deeper than that if you guys want me to. Uh, leave a like, subscribe if you're not, and thank you guys for watching. Later.